you're moving, the goal is always moving, and you're on wheels. I mean, but it's it's competitive. It's you've got the drive to win. I mean, you only play a sport to win. I mean, that's the only way I play, and that's the only reason our team plays. We don't play for second place. We play to win. Uh, the team has got five national championships over the years. Uh, everybody on the team has uh, earned their way on the team. You're not just given a spot because you're in a wheelchair. You earn your way on the team. So there's a lot of chair contact, unintentional chair contact. If it's a deliberate contact, it's a foul, of course. There's a lot of bumping, and it sounds more violent than it is. The team's played all over the United States. You know, you get to play with your buddies and uh, provide people with disabilities, you know, a way to an outlet to get out and to be active. For me, I didn't play basketball growing up. I was a football player, played football at UCA. I never played basketball, I didn't like basketball. But since I got in a wheelchair, there was basketball was available, so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And man, what a workout it is. I guess when I started uh, the wheelchair basketball was probably to be my most experience. You can tell by my shot. <laughs> we're a nonprofit, so we do a big fundraiser every year. So we're based out of Sherwood, so we're all community, we're kind of community based. We're all local and we all help in the community do some fashion or form of some kind of volunteers. I think it's a good organization for uh, people with disabilities. It shows that people in chairs are just as able-bodied as anybody. We're just as able as anybody is. Just because we're in a wheelchair don't mean we can't play a competitive sport. So it's no different than uh, able-bodied basketball, really. I mean, you're, you have five guys out there, you play 94 feet, the goals are the same, three-point line's the same. You gotta have a drive, drive and wheel to play.